Apart from just looking different, weapons also make a huge difference in how your character plays in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We'll break down abilities, keep it together, weapon skills, stat boosts, and how weapon upgrades actually work in this handy video. Here he comes. Yeah. Apart from your character levels and party levels, every member of Team Cloud also has a weapon level, denoted by the number inside the circle on the main menu. This weapon level goes up when you gain enough SP, or skill points. Since your weapon level is based on the maximum SP you've earned, weapon levels can never go down, even though you spend this same SP pool on skills in your folios. These weapon levels unlock both passive bonuses for each weapon, which can be seen here under stat boosts, and also equipable skills, denoted by the red, blue, or green orb next to them. These stat boosts that you earn will automatically contribute to the weapon's overall numbers that you can see at the top of the screen, or give extra weapon skill slots. But the weapon skills have to be equipped either by pressing triangle while in the upgrade weapon menu, or when swapping out your materia in the equipment screen. You can also press the options button and set a preference to auto-equip skills by different parameters if you don't feel like fiddling with them. SP can be gained in only two methods character manuscripts, and raising your character level. Raising your character level is pretty self-explanatory, you just obtain enough XP, but manuscripts are a little harder to come by. The most common places you'll find them are as rewards for side quests, rewards for trading in GP at the Gold Saucer, and there will always be a few at the Moogle Emporium at each Mog House, in exchange for a few Moogle medals. These medals can be found by completing the Mog House challenges, or by busting open boxes in the open world, very often around the Rimna Wave Towers. For a full list of where to find each manuscript for each character, make sure to check out our manuscript location page on our guide at IGN.com. Aside from the weapon level, and the skills and boosts it provides, each weapon also comes with an ability, ones that are used with ATB commands mid-battle. This little bar, known as Weapon Proficiency, will fill up as you use the weapon and eventually your character will learn that ability, even if you equip a different weapon. Make sure you check the rightmost panel after clicking into a weapon in the Materia and Equipment menu, and take a look at the Proficiency bonus. Meeting these goals will help you learn these weapon abilities faster. And that's our quick guide on weapon upgrades in FF7 Rebirth. Need any more tips? Make sure you check out our 12 Essential Tips and Tricks, or our Synergy Guide. And for everything else gaming, you're already in the right place. IGN.